So the purpose of this video is to, I guess, share my results from uh, my recent range trip with the uh, Mark 12. Um, that gun has a, it has a 107 twist Douglas 18 inch barrel, and which is supposed to be a very accurate barrel. So since I've gotten the gun, I've uh, realized that I need to try to get some uh, ammunition that's going to match the barrel and the uh, potential for the barrel and the, and the gun overall to be able to be very accurate with it. So I went out, I went to uh, sgaammo.com, ordered um, uh, several different manufacturer ammo, ammos um, to uh, see which could give me, I guess, the best groups and the best uh, performance out of that barrel. So this is what I came out with. I bought some of this uh, Australian Outback, which is 223 chambering. It's a 69 grain sear uh, hollow point uh, match king. Um, it's a bow tail hollow point. Pretty much all the bow tail hollow points. This one is the um, uh, PPU. Um, this is a 69 grain also. It's a uh, bow tail hollow point. Doesn't say the actual bullet itself, what manufacturer it is, but it's um this these are these were about ten dollars nine ninety five or nine ninety something a box over there at SGA ammo. PMC match, this is something new I seen on, on online. This is a Sierra bullet. This is a 77 grain, which is similar to the way the bullets that that, uh, that the Mark 12 naturally shoot, um, I guess, specked out to shoot. So this one's a uh, 77 grain uh, open tip match. And the difference from this and this 77 grain is this, this is actually chambered in 223. So the gun is spec'd out for a 5.56 cartridge, so I made sure I bought some of these. Uh, these are IMI, and this is supposed to be really a spec cartridge for the gun. This is 77 grain, open tail match, uh, uh, mod 1, it says long range mod 1, uh, 5.56 bullet. Um, and also this is a 5.56 bullet right here, this is a super performance match Hornady. Um, this is a 75 grain bow tail hollow point bullet. Okay. So, I took the gun out a while ago and I was able to zero it. I zeroed it with some um, Hornady that I had. I think it was a, a uh, also a 75 grain Hornady, but it wasn't the super um, super match. It was just a regular um, match grade Hornady ammunition. Uh, the groups weren't too good. I wasn't really happy with it. Um, the Geisley trigger wasn't in there as yet, so once the Geisley um, was put in there, I never really got to shoot it with the Geisley. So I was actually pretty impressed with the results I got recently from this most recent range trip. Um, in part to the trigger and I think partially to the ammo. Um, now I'm not a, a long range shooter. I don't, I'm not really patient enough to shoot long range. Um, but I did get good results and I'm happy with the results. And uh, they were pretty surprising in what I noticed. So I'll make sure I throw a, um, the picture of the target up and the video, pretty much the video that's in the, in, in, that you're watching is going to be just to illustrate, I guess, the pace that I was firing the rounds at. Now, I was, I was able to get probably an inch and a half groups, you know, at best, not including the flyers which I was shooting five shot groups and pretty much in every group I eliminated one shot um, and just took the best four. So um, as I was saying, the I was shooting, I wasn't shooting from a rest whereas you know some people they go out there and just for ammo performance and accuracy they'll shoot from a um, sled or some kind of rest rear bag and you know rest something like that. I tried to shoot in, I guess, with the setup I would normally shoot from. So either I was shooting from a bipod. Well, normally I shoot from either a bipod or some kind of sandbag. I don't really have a rear, rear bag or anything like that, so I don't shoot with it. Um, so, so with that in, in consideration, I, I was really happy with the groups. Now, you know, some people like to shoot with sleds and you know just to get accuracy, but I don't really think that's practical and realistic. So these are more, you know realistic type of uh, groups that you would see, you know, just shooting from a bipod, because I was shooting from the bipod, and I think the bipod was fully extended, so it gives you a little more height, 
and a little bit more play in the sense of uh, movement. So um, that should all be taken into consideration when you look at these groups. Um, so since I, I believe in my, my, my opinion that the groups are all pretty good, um, except for probably the last group, which is the largest group, which actually came from the um, IMI, which was pretty surprising because that's the, the ammo that the gun is supposed to like or use. Um, but either way, um, I, I think since all the ammo performed well out the gun, it's probably, in my opinion, going to boil down to the price. You know, which, which ammo I can get cheaper and which I, ammo I can buy the most of for the price. And from what I've seen, um, I think I'm going to be ordering some more of this uh, uh, PPU um, because it's commonly available. I usually see everybody have, have it. And it gave me a very decent group. So I think if I wanted to dial in the group anymore, I could get a real bag. Uh, I could probably slow down the pace of my shots and just take more time in shooting and probably get better groups. But this ammo really did really nice. Um, as you'll see, the rest of the ammo did perform extremely well too. Uh, I was able to get similar groups as, as the PPU. But like I said, the PPU is readily available. It's usually sells for $9.95 or $8.99 or something like that from AIM or one of those places. So it's definitely a cheap ammo that's easy to get. Um, I hope all the data points I put up in this video are helpful. You know, if anybody's looking for ammo or uh, match ammo or anything like that, take some of these into consideration. They're all good. Um, of course, you you want to see what works best in your gun, of course. But give these guys a look and check them out. These these different ammo, and also um, SGA Ammo. It's one of the places I shop for ammo, along with you know, Palmetto State, Aim Surplus, and whatever. Um, but SGA Ammo to me always seems to have the widest variety. Um, especially when you're looking for like uh, match grade ammo. So once again, thanks for watching guys.